Going good so far, a meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of our first alert weather center. And over the last couple of days, we have been watching Tammy and it gotten swept up within a boundary that was over the central Atlantic Ocean, which is why it was briefly deemed a post tropical cyclone. But as Tammy has been able to separate itself from this boundary, we've seen some more of the tropical characteristics return to Tammy, the counterclockwise motion, a tight storm as well. And it has been deemed by the National Hurricane Center a tropical storm once again. Thankfully for us, our computer guidance still keeping Tammy well away from the eastern seaboard over the next couple of days. It'll slowly meander throughout the central Atlantic Ocean and eventually start to really weaken. So of course, that's some fantastic news for us and something that we'll continue to watch here in the first alert weather center throughout the southwestern Caribbean Sea. This is to the north of Panama. The National Her uh, Hurricane Center watching it for what would be an area of low pressure trying to develop over the next few days, but they're still not very confident about the chances of that happening. That's why we've only got a low chance of development as we head into the end of the weekend and next week. If this were to somehow become our next name system, the next name that we have on our list is vents closer to home. We're starting to burn up some of the fog out there. Gorgeous start to the day, especially if you're foggy right now. Once you get through that, lots of sunshine to work with and temperatures are starting to climb out there from our cool morning. Many of us hanging in the 60s. We've got 63 for your temperature in Sumter. Good morning to Orangeburg at 63 degrees as well and a cool 61 right now in Camden. So once again, we get through this fog, high pressures in control. We're warm, feels good outside very nice weather for us to enjoy this weekend. And it's all out ahead of this next cold front that's dropping into the region as we get into the middle parts of next week. You can see the boundary itself bringing some showers throughout parts of the deep south and the Lone Star State. And we gradually see this activity make it eastward into the Palmetto State, but not until next week. So the rest of today is gorgeous. It will be a lot warmer out there, but still enjoyable. High temperatures will climb into the mid 80s, and that'll all be under a mostly sunny sky this afternoon. Now we stay dry Sunday and Monday. High pressure holds strong for each of these afternoons, but by Tuesday we've bumped rain chances as it looks like we pick up a few scattered showers along this boundary as it drops into the Midlands. Rain totals themselves not overly impressive, but certainly looking at our forecast for the next few days, this is pretty much the only rain chance we have is with this frontal boundary. I think a few of us could pick up a quick dash of rain depending upon how how widespread the showers are and how slow moving this boundary is as it drops into the Midlands, but certainly given our drought situation, especially closer to the upstate and the far northern and western portions of the Midlands, we're in a good spot with any type of rain that we can get. So we'll root to get some showers and as much as we can as we get into Halloween evening and Halloween night. Once this cold front gets out of here, check out how much colder we are behind this boundary. Wednesday and Thursday, upper 50s across the Midlands, even morning lows by Thursday and Friday could have some of us dealing with patchy frost for the first time in a few months. Temperatures only in the low and mid 30s. And then once we get into next weekend, very nice out there with high temperatures in the low 70s. Make sure you stay with us. Your Saturday morning sports wrap is coming up after the break.